What is up, my Dash Decliner family? We are back for day 22 of the zero to million dollar challenge where I go from zero to a million bucks in a year doing DoorDash, Skip the Dishes, Uber Eats, books, crypto, stocks, other business ventures. We are doing it all. And today we are locking it in to start with 203 bucks. And we're going to keep rising to the top by hitting that decline button and living by this one code of the streets. You already know what it is, DoorDash family. Say it with me now. No tip, no trip. No cash, no dash, no moolah, no uber. You ain't getting nothing, you miserable clown. So go and pick it up yourself, and we hope that it's cold. Catch y'all in a bit. Peace. All right, the morning has begun. I've just taken two Uber Eats orders right off the jump. So in about 20 minutes, I've made 60 bucks. Not too bad. Um, these $15 promotions are quite good. I can't lie. Um, I'm really grateful to have them. Yeah, great start today. 60 bucks so far. 30 minutes in. Catch you on in a bit. Dash Decliners, we are in the building. You already know what time it is. It is 12.55 p.m. And uh, I'm already at 110 bucks in about two hours of work. So that's $55 per hour. Not bad, huh? Not complaining. Uber uh, bonuses have been coming through. Also got a uh, $32 skip order. As you see right there. And um, yeah, we've been grinding. But I do have a little bone to pick with a customer I just dropped some food off to. What is the deal with these customers having five dogs in their yard and I go to deliver their food and they're all barking at me? I don't know if they're friendly or not. Like, do I go in? Do I not go in? I love dogs, but these ones were a little bit scary. I'm not going to lie. There's five of them. And uh, yeah, they're all barking at me going nuts so a little PSA to the DoorDash customers put your dogs in the house if you order food don't be disrespectful clowns and leave them outside to scare the driver you know what I mean because there could be vicious dogs in this world you know what I'm saying like they're not all friendly you know what I mean I'm sure that yours were and they actually wound up being really nice dogs but yeah they were just barking like mad madmen so it's a PSA about that and thirdly, the last thing I'd like to share with y'all is that the t-shirts are now out on Etsy. I will put the description in the link below. Or no, I'll put the link in the description below. Never mind, I'm a little bit off today, you know what I mean? Anyhow, let's keep it pushing, DoorDash family. My Dash Decliners, my No Tip Skippers. Let's go. See you in a bit. What is up, my No Tip of Skippers? My Dash Decliners. Um, I just went to Noodlebox, picked up an order, and the manager got very, very upset once again about my No Tip, No Trip t-shirt. He basically went on a rant about how he can ban dashers from coming into his store to picking up orders. And I just tried to explain to him, I was like, look, man, this ain't a beef with the customer. This is a beef with DoorDash. They need to pay us more. And if we all decline it as a collective group, the base pay goes up. So it is what it is. I wish it wasn't this way, but that's how it is. You know what I mean? And he was like super passive aggressive he's like yeah i just banned a guy for being rude for coming in my store and being rude i was like are you trying to say something about my t-shirt he's like no man no i was like then what are you saying to me he's like if you just huge huge clown bro but anyways i'm potentially banned from the noodle box it's all good though we're gonna keep it pushing and uh they're still skip the dishes they're still uber eats there's still like 40 other stores in my uh zone that do DoorDash. So like getting banned from Noodle Box, not a big deal. Anyways, I'm out. I got some orders. Peace. On my way to Indian Masala for a double for 22 bucks. Um, not too far away, which is quite legit. Um, after this, that'll put me at $182 for the day. It is now 5:20 p.m. We're gonna get it into the nighttime. We're gonna see if we can hit 300 bucks. Quite possible. We're only $120 away. Uh, let's get it. Tuesday, 300 bucks. Let's go. We are out here cruising down to Rumble Fish to get us a $16 delivery. And I am pumped. Um, business has been spectacular today. I can't complain. All the customers have been great. Um, it's overall, it's been a wonderful day. So let's just keep it moving. And I'll be back in a bit with some more updates to tell you how the day is going. I might call it early tonight because I got a lot of work to do on this uh, new book that I'm writing as well. So we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, catch y'all in a bit. Peace. 
What's up, everybody? We are back. It is 8.15. Um, I made about $205 today. Uh, I'm going to go home right now and call it a night early. Just because I got a lot of work to do on my next book that I am working on. As well as a coloring book that I am working on as well. And uh, that should be coming in the next couple of months, I presume. Um, I'm just staying busy. As busy as I can be. Because... Um, I'm trying to elevate this uh, DoorDash business to something bigger and start focusing more on books and music and crypto. The DoorDash was just a uh, launching pad to get the uh, real money coming in, you know what I mean? And um, so far it's not doing a bad job with that. We're doing pretty good. We've already made like $410 this week or something. Something in that range. And um, yeah, I'm really excited to be getting my other stuff out like these t-shirts for example um even though they're getting me into trouble which i find hilarious i cannot believe that dude at noodle box got that offended and like that passive aggressive and that crazy about a t-shirt it's like you work in a business where your employees depend on tips too so i thought there would be some understanding like it's the unwritten code of the service industry that tips are a requirement to survive and if people don't tip people can't survive you know what i mean and I think it's a crappy system, I do. But that's the world we live in, so what are we going to do? Like, cry about it? And that's not going to change anything. People are still going to be starving if they don't get their tips, you know what I mean? So, like, these $4 uh, deliveries, they got to go. And the only way to do that is for every DoorDash driver in town to decline them. And then that way, DoorDash was going to be forced to have to pay more money to the drivers. And um, in the service industry... The employees got to start paying more money because, eh, like, it's unfair that the employees have to rely off tips. It's really disgusting because, like, I don't think there's any reason why a customer should come into walk into a restaurant and then be asked to tip when it's they're picking up their food. That's just insane to me. Like, I can understand a server because a server is like waiting on their table the entire time, dealing with the whole ordeal. Like, yeah, they they should get a tip, but even then, it should be like based off of like what they do it shouldn't be expected like they should do a good job where on the other hand you have delivery drivers we're using our vehicle we're using our gas we're paying for insurance we're paying our car lease all these different things like i spend probably let me let me do the math real quick yeah about a thousand dollars a month just on my car you know what i'm saying so that's almost a week's work just to like keep this car running. So to to expect me to accept uh, four dollar orders, that's just absolutely insane. And yeah, we should get tipped because we're using our vehicles. It's like super expensive, as I said before. Anyways, enough ranting and raving about that. Um, let's just jump right into the crypto update. Uh, Bitcoin still at seventy point five k. Um, I can see if it goes any higher on the daily chart, we're going to get some bearish divergence, unless it really pops off, but probably not likely. The bearish divergence is probably going to form. It's probably going to be a double top, like I said yesterday, and um, I'm going to have to post a chart about that and uh, on my Instagram, dashing for dollars, you already know, to give an update, because I haven't posted one in a while, because there's no point, there's nothing really to chart, it's just no data, nothing really to go over. Um, I truly believe in the double tops coming in. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. You know what I mean? But um, at some point, we're going to get a dip. And when that dip comes, that is when I'm going to pounce like a uh, Jaguar. I think they pounce, right? Yeah, like a Jaguar or a Cheetah or a Cougar, whatever, whatever cat you would like to uh, use in this analogy. You know what I'm saying? But um, that's when I'm going to be jumping in on the next dip. I got a lot of saved funds in the reserves ready to go for that. And I'm just not going to be a fool. I'm not buying the top. Um, yeah. But that's pretty much it for the crypto update. Double top incoming. And uh, yeah, we're going to wrap it up like this. And we're going to come back tomorrow stronger than ever. And uh, we're going to do what we do every single day. We're going to decline these trash orders keep living by the principle the code of the streets you already know and what might that be say it with me my uh, dash decliners my no tipper skippers what is it 
No tip, no trip. No cash, no dash. No moolah, no uber. You ain't getting nothing, you miserable clown. Go and pick it up yourself, and we hope that it's cold. Have a wonderful night, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace.